percent like i'll just give you an instance like we've used dna and let me just say molecular whether dna or rna you can see the role they play during the covid 19 pcr testing and uh, that particular way is uh, actually to test if the gene is present the year uh, covid 19 i which uh, i was privileged to be among the scientists who worked at the queen elizabeth university hospital to be able to do the, the covid 19 test and trace in the whole of scotland and northern england so, so as you can see yeah. could be help it could help to detect diseases and uh, uh, i don't want to go too much into technicalities like that but i just want to say uh, almost uh, any kind of whether it's sickle cell anemia you know no genotype can really do that but you uh, know talking about uh, some kind of disease like cystic fibrosis, uh, Down syndrome, like for instance, we have Down syndrome, kind of other syndrome, testing genetic abnormalities. This is been happening to, you know, to the DNA has been applied for detection of diseases. What, well, I, what I want us to under, understand or agree <laughs> is that a lot of times, especially from where we are coming from, when we talk about DNA testing, uh, it's always the issue of, oh, to identify who is the mother, who is the father, the, the, was there a case paternity. of cheating for paternity? Was sure. there a case of cheating? Is there a case of um, somebody taking care of uh, an offspring that he did not... Um, Spermatozoa. Let me use that <laughs> word. So, but uh, from what you are saying now, there are much, much wider use of yeah. Uh, for, for medical for, application, for medical it's very, very, it's very, extremely, much, very broad. Very broad. Very, very broad. broad. And, and, and they were.